Well, welcome back. And uh, what I've done here is, um, following on from the previous video on the cart that I was riding on, I've made a sort of miniature version so I can do some work because the, the big one is actually um, a little bit of a thing to put in your office. So um, I've got a mini one and I can always go back to the big one. And the good thing about this is it's got that original H bridge in it, the Chinese one that handles about 100 amps. So even though it can handle 100 amps, uh, that doesn't mean to say you can't use it, of course, with smaller motors. So I've got two DC motors here in this little thing that technicians have made up. Uh, and these work on, I think, of 12 volts, uh, small wheels. And in the back, just a couple of casters just to... Um, so it's similar to the other cart, but much smaller. I've got a, what is that, an 11 volt LiPo battery and a MyRio of course and what I'm going to do with this is control it uh, by wireless now if you've seen some of my other videos you'll realize that uh, certainly in a university here it can be a problem with the wireless because they firewall you out uh, so because of that over here I've got my own wireless router it's just a cheap router that you can buy in the shops there's nothing special about it uh, but I'm sort of running a private I think it's called an ad hoc network, which means it's not connected to the internet, so I don't need to worry about, you know, viruses or anything like that. It's just my own uh, network within the the room here, uh, which is quite interesting. So the the program is almost identical to the one that did the cart, but of course we've got to watch here because uh, we're going to have to send um, commands from the PC. The PC is going to be this small surface device. I can't use the uh, big PC because uh, it's got a problem as I'll tell you in a minute because it's networked to a university system. Uh, but what I do here is um, with uh, shared variables is what I'm going to use. Uh, when I go to the project explorer I need to create variables that are common to the computer. That's up here in the project explorer of my, my real uh, code and the uh, my real uh, real time. I don't. I'm not using FPGA, so I basically just go up here to. Uh, I think it's this one, isn't it? No, it's the next one. My computer, and I do new uh, library. And when I add that library, it's going to create a library here, which I've called. It's called Entitled Library Two, but it'll, it'll probably call it Entitled Library One. You can give it a name. You must save it, and then you do new uh, variable and you've got to make sure it's a network shared variable and now in the case of sending the joystick information I'm going to have to just simply send two integers which are 16-bit and one boolean for a switch obviously I could send other things but if I click on my one of my variables um, on this one particularly it's uh, you can see it's uh, it's all default network published int, int uh, 16 and uh, I don't need the aliasing thing and so on uh, and that's pretty straightforward so I did that for three variables and then I discovered it didn't work and I spent uh, several days trying to figure out why it didn't work and uh, quite simply it was the uh, firewall uh, which I thought I'd turned off but it turns out that you can't really turn it off here <laughs> at the university so I had to use another PC and switch it off. You can add exceptions to the firewall if you know which ones they are and that's available online but the actual code at the PC end is just here and you see this is the joystick command, the initialize the joystick, the read the joystick information and that's uh, x-axis you just point to x and y and you, it's 16 bits, so 65535. You have to subtract 32768 to get plus or minus for the, the um, joystick positions. And uh, you, you then have to, there's a little bit of a problem because the way the, uh, the My Rio treats the joystick is marginally different from the PC. The PC seems to get the whole 16 bits of the um, 
of, of the joystick, but the the My Rio doesn't. It picks up um, was it 10 bits, I think it is. Go on, it goes up to 1024. This one goes to 65535. So I have to do a conversion, and that basically means dividing by 64, effectively, whatever way you want to do that. Or you can divide by 65535 and multiply by 1024. And uh, that gives me um, the X and the Y. So that's, the, say, the X and that's the Y. And these are integers. And I put them straight into shared variables. This other one here is just a true-false for a button so that it only activates when I press the sort of fire button on the, uh, on, on, on the joystick, which is... Uh, um, what joystick is it again? It's one of these um, Logitech joysticks. Uh, although... As long as the PC recognizes it, I think uh, it wouldn't be a problem whether you can use something, uh, you could use a steering wheel or something like that in this case. Uh, so that's the, um, the the way it works. As I say, you need to watch the um, firewalling here. And the way I discovered there was a problem, and be careful if you ping, by the way. Ping isn't a, apparently a, a good way to discover whether the thing's going to work or not. It just sort of tells you whether ping's working or not, because it doesn't mean that your program's going to work just because you can ping. And I wrongly thought that I, I could ping from the PC to the my Rio, that everything should work. But it doesn't. The firewall still stops it, even though the ping works. So that's another thing to watch out for. So in the main program, I'll actually go to the real thing here, which is running on, which is going to be running on the um, uh, the, the uh, Surface Pro. And here it is here. It's the same program as before. And without more ado, really, I think I really need to just run it. And uh, so there's the, there's the main program running uh, from the PC. And you can see as I press the button here on my on my uh, joystick it uh, goes on or off and then you see the numbers there going from 512 to 0 and to 1024 in the Y and also in the X okay and that's sent through the network through the Wi-Fi uh, to this guy here which is the um, my Rio and that the my Rio it's received there's the you just pull in the uh, shared variable so it's two integers and one boolean and uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward so I'm going to run that one now you should deploy the libraries first of course but you know, it should actually do that it's uh, not working for some reason oh that's because I've not got it turned on so it does help actually if you turn it on so let's turn the thing on uh, so this is powered by battery and uh, can should connect over wireless so I should be able to do it now okay so we're back so um, it was just a mi very minor thing so there's the um, small cart thing down there and there's my joystick here my Wi-Fi over there and my surface so I'm going to use this um, joystick here to control it make sure it's on you can see the light lighting up there when I press the button forward we go I'm turning around and forward oh, it's quite good fun actually to play with bit difficult to steer when it's sort of coming in the other direction. I suppose it's like a model aircraft. It takes a little bit of getting used to. And of course what you can do is um, you could possibly um, you could possibly put a camera on it and uh, look on the front panel. So this is not precision speed control, it's just open loop PWM to each channel. There we go. So
there's a little demonstration of what you can do with the MyRio and shared variables. Thank you.